Thanks for taking this time to be with Wellfi Products, and first of all, congratulations on your uh, just recent victory in Columbus, Ohio. I take it, take it with the great experience. It's my first neck out. I never uh, expected it's going to happen. But what, what I think Mark Muno tends to coming down the right time, the right moment. And I think I should try it. It got the high kick. It's really trying. And you know? I get my gut feeling. You know, I just want to do a lot of kick. You know, there's a lot of things to add. Add more uh, move every time I fight. But like I said, every time I fight, there will always be a new weapon. So, in the UFC 102, it got Brandon Farron, it's gonna have a new weapon that no one has ever seen. The old man helmet is not the same as the new one, but I let you add up, add up, and you will see the unexpected. So, it could be interesting. Has the location for that fight been announced yet? The UFC for 102 will be in New Oregon. In New Oregon, but I was hoping it was in the Philly. In 101, it would be close to my family and close to my friend in New York and Cincinnati, Ohio, and uh, New York. They all come down to Pendleton. It would be a great, great um, opportunity for all the fans and come down and feel it. But, but they decided to move to uh, Oregon. But for some reason, um, the call was uh, book. <laughs> so, but that's fine. The brand is called out my name. So that would be a lot easier for New York City and me, you know, we were having to uh, figure out who's my next opponent. The brand and failure to call out, I want to fight the deaf guy, Matt Hamill. By any means, he's more than welcome. And uh, I'd be happy to fight him. I think there's a reason why uh, he wants to fight me, because of Mark Muno. They're both uh, good, good friends. Uh, they're Filipino, you know, so it'd be a uh, good, good challenge for against Brandon. <laughs> Do you know who else is on that going to be on that fight card yet or no? I I don't know. So far, so far it looks like Randy Quarter or no, I'm not sure who's oh uh, who's participating in one or two, but I'm not really interested in, to know who's in one or two. When will you start uh, training? Uh, uh, that that uh, when we start is June 15th. <laughs> You know, so right now I'm just more of like a mother. I'm gonna take a little on my body, just go on appearance every weekend, go to the local and you're like her, just throw shirts and piston. But when it comes to my training, I have to have it start more focused and I'm really I'm really starting to get brand thing. And um yeah, it will be a ten week of training camp <laughs> and uh, that's the same as same as usual. <laughs> yeah. What do you think Brendan Vera's game plan is gonna be coming into your uh, fight? Uh he, I know his game plan is trying to uh, kick, kick, kick my leg. That's his favorite um, technique. And um, he, he, he has a wrestling background and he has all the tools that's good on uh, the ground. But the question is, does he have a heart? I know, so I mean, I have more heart than he has. I don't care how many fights he has experienced or what he's ranking or where he's from or I don't care, you know. But I mean, it's all, all about heart. Because I have a drive, I mean, if I have broken bones or a cut or like that, there's nothing would stop me, nothing. I'm just going after him, you know, so cool. the heart is something that's really important. But without the heart, we're not going to be able to survive in the fight. On a personal level, you have a movie coming out, uh, Hamill. I know there's been some controversy regarding the deaf community over the actor that was going to play the major role. How's that developing? How's the movie coming along? Oh, it's a, in, in the beginning, we we had a little bit of control the the uh, the deaf community is better to have a deaf actor, you know. But but to me, uh, my point of view, I mean, I thought it would be nothing, nothing. I mean, nothing. Uh, being fair to the deaf community here in Carter, I thought it's nothing wrong. But but all the deaf community wanted a deaf uh, deaf actor, so. So we got to the bottom of it. There will be a deaf uh, movie producer and a deaf actor, but they're still looking for them. But the good news is we always got the contract done. All my family and my friends, they got the done. So that's the good news, you know. But we have been changing the script a little by a little. This is not about, it's not about money. It's about my family, you know. It's why something's being fair, you know. Because they're, they're focused on the money thing, you know. But yeah. I, I look here, it's going to hurt my family, you know. Yeah. So I just want to make a little bit of shift, a little bit of shift, 
little bit, you know, to fix something uh, that I like. But it's not going to be exactly perfect, but it could be a great entertainment, a great, great movie, it's all uh, gay, it could be funny, it's all about early life too now. I can't what really you think about the, the model, model A, you know, right. the, when it, it's my first call. Mm -hmm. When I took her to the prom, that girl, I took her to a Taco Bell, and mm -hmm. never took her to a fancy restaurant, you know. <laughs> but it could be a great movie, so I just can't wait to see it coming out of it. But I, 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 it'll be really bad in October or November, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm... Um, yeah, but you have to keep your pole. <laughs> After your next fight, um, obviously you, you should win that fight. What? How many sort of fights do you think it'll take before you get a title shot? I, I, I don't know. That that go up to death. <laughs> <laughs> you just take it one fight at a time. Ah, uh, well, I mean, I would never, I would never think about it. But I just, like I said, I just let it flow. You know, it's not even think about it. Whenever we're out with you, the fans on the street, you get mobbed, and you're huge in the deaf community. How much of an inspiration is that to you? Well, I did, if you, if you will become uh, become deaf, you know you don't know what it feels like. Uh, I mean, of course, you, you everyone can hear it. You can hear all the sound and all that, but I don't. I mean, I just feel the vibration. It goes to my body. And I'm trying to explain to all these people, they don't really get what I'm saying. A capitalizing, like the bubble. When you go in the water, you right. throw the bubble, and boom, boom, and the bubble goes in my body and vibrates it. Ooh, it feels good. That's called killer instinct. A killer instinct, you know. So I, just, well, I was hoping more fans make all the vibration and get my body moving, the blood moving, and get my heart on fire. Mm -hmm. well, good luck in your upcoming fight in August. Uh, thanks for spending this time with us. and. Uh, Enjoy Montreal. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'm really down to write this thing. Yeah, thanks for having me here.